China. It has recorded before the Qin Dynasty. As a simple and interesting activity, Chinese chess became popular in China. Why did you want to learn the Chinese chess? Um, well, when I came to China, <coughs> I lived in a city called Liuzhou in the south, in Guangxi province. Yeah. So on the street, I saw a lot of old guys playing this game, Chinese yeah. chess, Xiangqi. And I was not quite sure if that was chess or any, something, some, some different game. So uh, I was really interested in it, and um, I came up to these old guys, and sometimes I would just look at them playing. Uh, and when I came to Beijing, then uh, I asked you to to explain to me how to how to um, how to play Chinese chess because I was really intrigued by it. In in <clears throat> in Europe or in Russia, it's a very quiet game. People are very concentrated. It's very quiet. But in, in China, most of the time they scream they're very loud, and if there's a crowd, many people standing around them, they always say, "No, you did this wrong. Go like this." So it was very strange for me and very interesting. So that's why I wanted to learn. Yeah. Look, this is the Chinese chessboard. It draws a map of the battle of the Chu Han. It's the Chu River. The battery between Chu and Han. Chinese chess is a microcosm of the ancient world. Chess inventions are often used to deduce the world. Juma power is decided according to the military establishment. Chinese chess has become one of popular entertainments in China. Uh, uh, do you want to teach your Oh, if I want to introduce the game to my friends? Yeah. Uh, actually, I already introduced this game to one of my friends. Country to go to Russia, we bought a small Xiangqi set at Yasuo Market. So I taught him how to play too. And I will definitely bring a, a Chinese chess set from China to, to Berlin. Yeah. I actually taught my grandfather to play Chinese chess.